Did what? Do you remember where you were when it happened, when you heard the news? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I was in school, I think. Yeah. I was in school when I heard it happen. And I said, Pearl Harbor, where's that? <laughs> right? And I, I think, you know, most of the kids mm -hmm. in school probably Pearl Harbor. Would you believe we're going out on missions and just starting and everything? And these guys are 20 years old, mm -hmm. 19, 20 years old. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. We're almost at that age and yeah. we're yeah. nowhere near. We were on a mission. I forget where it was. I've got it in here. And we, we were out with the whole mob of bombers. <clears throat> and uh, we got maybe three quarters of the way to the bombing run. And we had trouble with our engines. So one engine went completely. Mm -hmm. So then we went on with one engine, that was okay. So then we had another engine that went out. So we said, we're not gonna be able to keep up with the bombers, with the rest of the crews. So we had to turn around and go back to the base, right? So we had to do that all by ourselves. Mm -hmm. So that meant that we were wide open for any German planes to come in and shoot us down. So they follow you, you know, and shoot you down. So as we were, were going along, we, <laughs> we missed the third motor. <laughs> and we're, you know, we're flying with one motor, you know. And at the same time, we're looking around to see if there's a German following us. And luckily, we, nobody was there. So anyway, we got over the channel going back to England, mm -hmm. to our base, and the other engine went. So we're, we're flying now on no engines, mm -hmm. right? But we're almost on the ground. We're, we're over the land in England. So we couldn't make it to our base, so we landed in an English base mm -hmm. in here. <laughs> you know, well, it we got there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you want to hear that one? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> there was a thud. Our ship was hit with flak. And a number of pieces flew through our plane. I felt a sting on my right leg around the shin bone. When I looked down, there was a tear in my flight suit and pant leg, but I didn't see any blood. Rolling up my pant leg, I could see a huge black and blue welt where I had felt the sting. What happened was that a piece of steel from the flak penetrated the skin of our plane. It came through a wooden board, then through a piece of canvas, and finally through my flying pant suit leg. Luckily for me, by that time it was spent and slowed down enough just to give me a black and blue mark and something to think about. If it hadn't hit all those barriers first, it would have taken part of my leg with it, right? As it was, I found the piece of flak in my pant leg and had kept it for years as a souvenir. But as we moved a number of times, a few times I lost it. No one else on our crew was hit during the whole thing. However, either Woody or Stokes had a piece go through quite as big as the first joint of my thumb. However, when it went through the skin of the ship, it made a hole that measured six to nine inches. I'm talking, you know? It, it, it spread the, the ship's uh, uh, outside, you know, the, the interior. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it bent it in like that, and <laughs> so it went through. Mm -hmm. It was interesting to me that the piece of flak that hit me was not quite as big as the first joint of my thumb. However, when it went through the skin of the ship, it stretched as the flak hit it, and then it broke open, allowing the piece to go through. I'll never forget our seventh mission over Magdeburg. Why did you want to document everything? For my grandchildren. Oh. Yeah, I made it up especially to show them and nice. tell them what I did all that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.